Come down, O love divine. says I will pour out my spirit on all people. The spirit has come. Alleluia. God says I will ask the Father and he will give you another counsellor to be with you forever. Alleluia. Come Holy Spirit, gentle as a dove, burning as a fire, powerful as the wind. Come Holy Spirit, come. Welcome to the Belfry Tower, or what I call the Upper Room here at St John the Baptist Church here in Barham. Welcome to our Benefice Service for Barham Downs with Addisham in the heart of Eastbridge Deanery and in the Diocese of Canterbury. Welcome to all who tune in today. Let us come and celebrate this Pentecost. And so we gather here like the disciples are gathered. They have waited for quite a few days since Christ ascended. He gave them a message before and during that time of ascension and said, wait, wait for the promise that will come upon you. And so I wonder if they were the nervous ones, waiting, nail biting, wondering what this would be in a packed and busy city like Jerusalem. Perhaps we are sometimes nervous as well when we're expecting to do something special and waiting for something to happen ourselves. And the message is to wait. Wait until you are filled with power from on high. Wait, oh wait. It's noticeable in the Psalms that as we get older we notice the waiting aspect. Wait for the Lord reoccurs several times. And in that waiting what do we do? We are a church of remembering. And so the disciples would have also remembered very much all the teachings and the parables and the healing that Jesus did in his time with them. He remembered very much from the Last Supper when they broke bread and he gave to them and said to them, this is my body which is given for you, do this in memory of me. And also the wine which is the blood, the cup shed for all for the forgiveness of sins, do this in remembrance of me. They would have practiced that and would have been part of the fellowship not just the twelve disciples, but many others as well. And so they pray. They pray hard. They would have very much remembered the prayer that Christ taught them and which have resounded for 2,000 years within our own communities. They would have prayed hard, waiting for fulfilment of the Holy Spirit. So I ask you to join me in praying the prayer that Christ himself taught us in no matter what language or form that you prefer to say it in. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thy kingdom come. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. And so we must be looking out for signs as we look out for signs of the kingdom, waiting at all times to see what would occur. Waiting for perhaps the stirrings of something. I like to put it in as the stirrings perhaps of wind, perhaps gradually taking effect. You may notice it by the rustling of bushes or the gradual chiming of wind chimes. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, starting at verse 19. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fears of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord, and Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. We sing our second hymn, Holy Spirit, come, confirm us. Thank you. tremendous is going to happen, a wind more ferocious, a wind more alarming but also comforting at the same time.
Acts chapter 2, starting at verse 1. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No. This is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, even upon my slaves, both men and women. In those days I will pour out my Spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let's reimagine that again.
Let us pray. Let us pray for the Holy Spirit to come among us. Come, Holy Spirit, come, loving Jesus, come, glorious God, come among us here and wherever we are and hallow our prayers. We pray for places in our world where there is poverty, fear and war. May all who recognise your name hear you calling them to be peacemakers. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mindful of young children and adolescents returning eventually to school, we pray for the younger generation, for Christians and for those seeking, young in years, young in hope and young in faith. May the faith we teach as a church and pass on to them be a reflection of the work of your Holy Spirit in our lives. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all our churches and our parishes of Barham, of Kingston, of Bishopsbourne, Addisham, Womenswold and Elsham, for those in our deanery and further afield, and all, and all who together will celebrate this wonderful feast of Pentecost, albeit remotely, for their experiential presence and be filled with power and joy. God, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for those who are ill or in trouble or in any kind of need. So we bring the names of those on our benefits pew sheet to mind, to our thoughts and hearts, and for others that we may not know of but require prayer and hope in our community. We pray also for those who have died, and in particular, we pray for a good servant, Reverend Canon Alan Duke. We pray for all those who are safe in your love. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves, our hopes, our questions, our needs, our dreams. Come. Holy and life-giving Spirit, renew our lives with love. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bright God of life, burn in our lives, blow us clean and holy, warm us with courage and joy, keep us in the mystery of your glory all the days of our journey home. The anthem sung by the Benefice Choir is called O Lord by Talis.
Christ has ascended, and from on high the Holy Spirit has given upon us. The church has been born, and so we go in the light and the love of Christ to continue his mission here on earth. And we're reminded very much of that by the words of Teresa of the Lila. Christ has no body but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes with which he looks, compassion on this world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands with which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands, yours are the feet. Yours are the eyes, you are his body. Christ has no body now but yours. No hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes with which he looks, compassion on this world. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. And so we come to our blessing. May the Spirit who hovered over the waters where the world was created breathe into you the life he gives. Amen. May the Spirit who overshadowed the Virgin when the external sun came among us make you joyful in the service of the Lord. Amen. May the Spirit who set the church on fire upon the day of Pentecost bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Filled with the Spirit's power, go in the light and peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.